What's going on guys? So one of the questions you guys have had a lot in the Fantasy Grounds Unity tutorial videos, especially for DMs and GMs, is how to use line of sight and some of those really cool rain effects that you see in all those YouTube videos out there of people playing on Fantasy Grounds Unity. And it's actually really simple. It's one of the few things that a lot of these virtual tabletops haven't really done a super job at, but Fantasy Grounds Unity has knocked out of the park. It's a really simple tool and even I can learn it and I don't have an advanced degree in coding from some major university. So if that tells you anything, it's pretty easy. And actually that's what we're gonna do we're going to go over a quick and dirty tutorial on how to utilize these really simple and intuitive tools in Fantasy Rounds Unity. Let's do this. What's going on everyone? My name is Howard. This is the Blue Collar DM YouTube channel, the channel dedicated to breaking down those barriers for new players and dungeon masters alike. I actually stream on this channel Monday, Wednesday, Friday here on YouTube and on Twitch. Link for the Twitch stream down in the description there below. We actually go over all things related to tabletop role playing, Dungeons and Dragons, Roll20, Fantasy Grounds, anything about the awesome topic that is tabletop role playing. And I am actually answering all of your questions there, whether they be about campaign prep, whatever the case may be, whatever you guys need, I'm there as a resource for you. Again, that's Monday, Wednesday, Friday. Also, make sure you like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell here on the YouTube channel so you get notified when other videos like this come out on your favorite subject on YouTube, tabletop role playing. Now, again, like I said in the intro, we're gonna be using those line of sight tools and those effects tools to really enrich and enhance our experience on Fantasy Grounds Unity while we're playing in this virtual tabletop space. And I've wasted enough of your time. Let's actually go over the computer and let's do this. All right, guys, so now we're over at the computer, we can actually jump into Fantasy Grounds Unity right now. So if you wanna make a map as cool as this one right here, follow along. So right now, basically what I've done is I've actually created a line of sight and I've created an effect on this screen. So uh, we're in GM mode, so that's why we can kind of see the whole map. And if you look really closely, we can actually see we have some dragons here, but our player characters cannot see them. So this is the view that they actually have. And as you can see, as I rotate him around, he can actually see what's going on here on the map. And as we kind of play around, you can see that there's this really cool mist effect I've got going on here. Um, so I can actually make that toggle that off right here easy enough But um, the way that this actually happens is that you want to kind of make them in layers So you can see here we have things layered on top here So we have this underdark tunnels, which is our map layer, which is just the base map layer we have here Then I've got my line of sight layer and then I have my mist or effects layer ignore the paint layer for now I was trying to mess around, but you can actually put in some custom little objects and stuff like that utilizing the paint tool but if we want to actually add in line of sight, what we have to do is we're going to want to add this little button right here, this line of sight wall tool. So I'm going to turn my line of sight off right now so we can actually make a new one. We're going to make a new layer and we're going to come over here to line of sight. Now, there's a couple different ways you can do this. You can utilize the line tools. You can utilize the squares. There's also actually options for uh, different inanimate objects or doors or movable walls. And we'll kind of go over them today. So what I'm gonna do here is we'll pretend that we have just some walls right here. Now, if we wanna make a wall that you can't see through at all, all you have to do is actually just take either the line tool, square tool, whatever you decide to do. Um, where this is a cave, I typically recommend if there's a regular walls, you wanna use the line tool. The line tool is kind of nice because it does, if you hold and click, you can actually create dots and kind of follow along the edge of the walls, or you can click as you go and do it that way as well. As you can see, when I click as I go though, sometimes I lose a little bit of a gap here that's easy enough to fill in. If you ever want to unselect the line or anything that you're doing, you can actually, if you're over here and you don't want this anymore, you can actually hit the escape button and it's going to stop there for you. So now we have this little wall here. And as you can see, Jeffrey the Barbarian here, oops, let me get rid of that. Now if we come back over to play and we take this button, we can see that Jeffrey the Barbarian can't see beyond this wall until he gets above that little line that we created. So if he's back here, he cannot see those dragons anymore. And then he comes up and he can see them. So now let's do another one. So let's pretend there's a door here. And no, there isn't one because obviously this is a cave, but we're gonna pretend there's a door here. So we're gonna come back over here to line of sight. And I'm actually gonna toggle off the mist here so we can see it a little bit more clear. Now you can actually make terrain as well um, in a very similar way, but um, as, as we did with the walls. But I'm gonna use the door tool and I'm actually gonna use the rectangle tool because I like the rectangle tool. It'll make my doors just because they make them nice and easy. And now we have a door here. So then if we go back into play mode, it's not there because there's no door on this map. But if you highlight over here, you can see that it highlights closed. Now the GM can unlock and open this door depending on what the DC was for the check. You can click on it. Now we have line of sight for Jeffrey the Barbarian to kind of walk through here as opposed to before. And if you want to close it, we can close it again. That's basically how it works. It's not too difficult. And actually it's very easy to have this functionality in your games, which is really nice, is that they made this really simple in Fantasy Grounds Unity to kind of add these different things. 
We can also put in toggleable walls. So let's say that maybe there's just a big giant huge like stone wall that kind of covers this area or something like that. Now we have no line of sight anywhere over there. Um, as you can see, because I do have Jeffrey, we don't have the wall here, so we're still getting some line of sight over on this side of it, but pretend that we don't. And the same thing applies. We highlight over it and you can see, instead of it having the little door with just the little blue box, now we have slashes showing that that's actually an inanimate object that we can remove as a DM or GM to then open it up when we click on it provided that the software is working. There we go. <laughs> and you can actually see through now. And now Jeffrey the Barbarian can walk through here as he wants, and let's say the door closes behind him. Oh no, now he can't go back. Um, so easy enough. That's kind of like how that little tool works. And then, let's get rid of that. And then if we want to make a train, so let's say we want to make a perfectly cylindrical tree, we can do that. We can plot that in there. And then when Jeffrey walks around this tree, We'll pretend that there's a tree there. You can see that it makes this nice circle. If we stand on the circle, it makes it a little bit weird. But we can, and we can actually close this tree and open the tree, depending on what the case may be. Maybe the tree gets knocked down or something like that. But now that it's open, there we go. Now it's closed. Now you can see that this actually appears right here. And then, last thing I want to show you guys is some of the effects, because I know the cool mist effect was really interesting. So um, we're going to come back over here. We're going to set it visible. See, that's that cruel mist effect. Now, if we want to add a new effect, all we have to do is add, do, go down to here and add an effects layer. We come to this effects layer, we highlight it, we make sure we highlight it. We come into effects and then we can pick anything we want. So we can pick that mist effect or we can say it's raining inside the cave or we can say that there's a blizzard or there's a bunch of other really cool different effects you can use. You can make everything grayscale if it's dark and you want it to be like an un like a underneath uh, dark area so that way when your players actually do see in dim light, they're only seeing in dim light and shades of gray, like kind of how the Dungeon Master's Guide says it is. Um, you can actually have night vision if you want, which is kind of weird. Uh, you can have, the, again, the blizzard. You can have it be parchment paper, which actually looks really weird as well. But it's a, a lot of cool different, different little effect layers that you can add here. Um, that can be really fun to play with. So now we can turn these on. Boom. Now we can set these walls. And so then now we click off of this, we go back into play mode, and then now you have this really cool map with these cool little mist effects showing the dragons and everything like that once you walk into the screen. And that's basically all there is to it. Like it's really that simple to make these maps in your game and you can utilize these different tools, especially in these line of sight tools. You can use them as rectangles to make walls, you can make ellipses, you can use lines if you want. It's up to you how you want to do it in your game and how you want to build your maps out. But this is just a kind of quick and dirty like little tutorial on how to use line of sight here in Fantasy Grounds Unity. And that, ladies and gentlemen, is actually going to end our discussion about those line of sight tools and the effects tools that you can utilize in Fantasy Grounds Unity. Now, I'm sure you all have questions. Make sure you leave those questions down in the comment section, but then also come down to the live stream. I live stream here at 9 o'clock Eastern time on YouTube and on Twitch. And the link for the Twitch channel is down there in the description. But the whole reason for that is so that way and for this channel really is that i can connect with you guys and make sure that you're getting your questions answered about tabletop role playing dungeons and dragons and i want to make sure that i'm actually able to help you personally like if these videos are fun and they're great and they're good generalizations but your situation your game might be different i want to make sure that i can answer those questions for you guys also if you made it to the end make sure you subscribe hit that notification bell and give the video a like because if you're still here i must be doing something right also i hope you guys learned something today and until next time happy gaming Thank you.